it's just nuts. It's a, it's absolutely bonkers. I I can't I can't tell you how over the moon I am at, at the progress so far. I've still got stuff to do, but that it's kind of that it's kind of in in progress. Yeah. Gosh, Martin, and you're I'm, down. I've got it written. I was having to look through the stats there before we jumped on this call, and you're down. Yeah. I think it's what twelve kilograms since 12, 12 that's kilograms. the length of May before you started with us. So slightly longer than the time period you've been with us. Um, but yeah. 12 kilograms, 12 so, weeks. Yeah, it starts good. off at 100, 124 down to 112.1, um, which is like 26 and a half pounds. So I've got two pound and a half, pound and three quarters to go to two stone. Yeah. And uh, insane probably covers it. I'm back in clothes that I'd always kept with a view to trying to get back in them. And these yeah. clothes are kind of, that there are jeans that are like, 12 years old and and i'm back in them right and it's not i I was i was squeezing myself into a a 40 42 inch waist um and i was covering things up with jumpers and now i'm back in shirts Mm -hmm. which which are kind of shirts i've never worn i bought and never worn it's it just keeps going down which is great and then i can stand in front of a mirror now and i'm not as embarrassed as i was or not as shocked as I was. Yeah. I can wander around the house. I've, I've got the kids going, Daddy, you've lost weight. I've got friends saying to me, have you lost timber? Um, and and these are these are people that have known me for 25, 30 years. Uh, and thanks for having me today. So my name is Martin Locke. Uh, I'm a 48-year-old sales director from Surrey, <clears throat> a father of two daughters who keep me active. Um, uh, I'm, I'm rapidly approaching 50 uh, and I just wanted to change something. Something just had to change. I think um, I think the fact that my main sport, badminton, was keeping me busy wasn't necessarily keeping my weight in tow, yeah. as I was hoping. And I think the the typical the the typical way that it went is that you you'd restrict your food so heavily, not notice anything on the scales. Then, then you hit the get me out of here button and and life just carries on and you just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and the yeah. clothes keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it's like something something's got to change something's got to change for life longevity for health wise if I want to carry on playing um I noticed uh, my injuries were getting more uh playing my sport so I thought I, I saw your video and I thought yeah let, let's engage with Matt and and see what the team can do I've, I've always been big so throughout school I was big throughout my early career I was big. And I thought, well, let's let's see what the art of the possible is here. I've seen, uh, I, I saw some of your posts on Instagram and Facebook, and it, it, I thought, well, what what's the art of the possible if he can do it? Uh, and I saw one of, I, I forget the name of of one of the guys, but he was a, a a slight, I would say, a slightly older guy. And I thought, if he can do it, why can't I do it? I've got, uh, I've only got myself to rely on, so I do all the cooking. Yeah. Um, I, I do all of the meal prep. I do all of the shopping. Let's let's see what the art of the possible is here. Yes. Um, and see if a I can improve my health. B if I can get a reduction in weight. Mm. And C my main love of badminton and racket sports. Let's see what I can do for the coming season. Yeah. To see if I can improve there. Um, and, and it's and it's working. Yes. I think the thing is that that were getting on my nerves is that clothes were getting tighter um i could see myself having to buy bigger clothes as well so i'd gone from i'd gone up to 48 inch chest sometimes 50 inch chest and clothes just looked wrong um and walking into town i'd be sweaty walking up and down the tube escalators i'd be uncomfortable well not not uncomfortable i'd I'd get into the office and it would feel like i've done a day's work already Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the motivation to to try and sort that out was probably the main driver. I think the fitness thing is a byproduct of a healthy diet and a uh, a regime that would allow me to do something other than badminton. Yes. In order to progress from a fitness point of view, um, and it's just a case of shoving on a pair of headphones, listening to some really good music, following a really easy to use app mm-hmm. with videos on there that show you what to do and then just pump it out in, in the gym. It's, it's just, it's, it's simple as that, right? Um, keep it simple, stupid, the kiss mentality. <laughs> Absolutely. I, think, 
I think I mentioned to you if you told me to do three thousand burpees and <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd kind of do it if if someone said <laughs> you need to do this in order to be a millionaire. You kind of do it, but uh, I wanted to. I wanted just a, a really easy to follow plan, and it seemed like from the testimonials before that that's what you you were getting, your results, your team were getting. So I thought let's try it. Yeah, and let's touch on the results then, Martin, because the, we were talk, talking about that just before we hit the record button. Um, what have the results been like, even from a body weight perspective? So I, I don't usually share this in the public domain, <laughs> Matt, but for the benefits of uh, for the benefits of this, I came in at a fraction over 124 kilos, which is 19 and a half, three bits. Yeah. Um, I was in 40, 42 inch waist jeans. Um, I was in 18 inch neck collared shirts for work. Yeah. Um, I constantly used to wear jumpers just to cover up the the multitude of lumps and bumps that were going on. And I think since uh, for the past eight, nine weeks, I've kind of dropped, I've seen a, a steady decline. So two, three pounds a week consistently. Yeah. And I'm now down to 112 kilograms, so mm-hmm. 26 and a half pounds, which puts me for the first time in a long time, the, the 17 stone bracket. So I'm below my 18 stone. Uh, I still have a I have a, chal- a personal challenge that I want to be kind of, uh, I've got another bit to go, but for, yes. so far the results are great. I don't want, I still have the motivation to do it. So the weight loss is great. The the fitness is great because it's allowed me to get onto the badminton court and and do what I like what I love to do and the kids have started noticing so uh, uh, and they're probably the the biggest slave drivers <laughs> I bet I bet <laughs> uh and Martin before you came on board to work with us can you walk us through maybe because like you said this has been a goal for you for a while now what attempts had you made before and I suppose why do you feel like possibly this approach was was different and so successful for you I think um, I, th- I think that if if you looked at if you looked at a curve, it was a it was a bell curve, right? You get really annoyed, so you you calorie restrict or restrict yeah. your foods to eat just salads, um, or you wouldn't go, you'd go without meals, and and then you you do that for a couple of weeks, and you wouldn't notice a, a substantial change. You you you'd understand the punishment that you were bringing upon yourself, and you wouldn't notice that the change wouldn't wouldn't equal the punishment that you're putting you through putting yourself through so then you then you go out for the weekend or you go out um and socialize you have dinner you have wine you have a couple of beers and i think um there was it it got out of control so i couldn't control it without doing something drastically mm-hmm. you'd I'd, I'd look at i'd so i bought a a membership at a, a david lloyd gym for instance hadn't really used it apart from going swimming with the kids playing some tennis with the kids um, and I noticed myself picking up injuries through sport. And I just wanted, I didn't have the knowledge to to do it in a slow, progressive way. And until it it kind of, you had the re- eureka moment where you kind of figure out it's taken me a lot of years to put the weight on. It, it may take me a lot of years to get it off. And I don't know whether I've got the the energy or the motivation for a lot of years yes. to get it off, right? So when I first started talking with you and you were saying, well, li- listen, uh, 40 pounds is eminently achievable. Three, and I'm thinking three stone, wow, I'd give anything to to do three stone. I thought, Let, let's do this, right? Let's listen to a professional. Let's not, let's not. Um, and, and you get some influences on, on social media that you think, is it really, is it really true? But when you were talking about personalized goals, personalized workouts, easy to follow, predictable and I thought yeah I'm I'm kind of sold I'm going to invest in this I'm going to spend some money and invest in myself to yeah. get the results that I want mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and for someone Martin that maybe was in your or maybe is in your position or at least in the position you were in before coming on board uh what would you say to someone like that is maybe considering or wanting to get in shape improve their health improve their longevity but really just doesn't know whether coaching is the right thing for them it's such a small amount and you can achieve such a lot in such a small amount of time. Uh, what I mean by that is that I, I never in a million years thought I'd be fitting into the clothes that I'm now fitting back into. I think the best thing for this is that first of all, it's all mapped out for you. The workouts are mapped out. The videos are mapped out. You can I, I can walk into a gym now 
not have to worry about um, looking silly. Uh, I've got a, a, a new confidence in the gym. Mm -hmm. I think the, the next thing is that the food's mapped out. You get lots of ideas. Once you get used to those ideas, then you can then start tinkering with stuff. I think the predictability with using apps and, and mapping out your progress as well, doing simple things like getting up to, we, we say 10,000 steps, but sometimes it could be 6,000 one day, it could be 14,000 another day. It's just getting the the average up. The dogs have never have, have never been so lucky. They've, I'm sure they feel like they're in heaven because we've got dogs. So I, I go out and do a dog walk <laughs> and, and even the kids get into it as well. So yeah. There's no impact. And I think the biggest thing for me, Matt, is is diet. I've not missed out on anything. I can drink beer if I want to drink beer. And I, I, I know that the calories are like 150, 160 calories a bottle. And I can figure it into my day. I can skip breakfast and bank calories for, for lunch and evening meals. I can have an ice cream with the kids. I can have a Solero ice cream at 98 calories. And I, I, it just doesn't feel like I'm missing out. Um, and and going on holiday again because I don't feel like I'm missing out. I'm not hungry. Um, the volume of foods there. It's now become. It's not a diet. It's and I know this is really cliche. It becomes a way of life. It's not a diet. It's just a different view on things. And it doesn't have to be forever. I'm not going to be on a calorie deficit forever because I can then go up to a maintenance level. But yes. for now, I'm happy to see the results. I'd like to ideally be down in the 90s so uh, I, I feasibly can achieve that in the in the coming weeks months um I see it as a realistic goal now and I'm enjoying the results I mean I'm really enjoying the results so thanks very much to you Matt and to Dan and the rest of the team and the community and the apps and the support um it's been great it's been great and I'm like I'm gonna carry on so uh super won't be the last you've seen of me <laughs> <laughs>